Hello everyone, welcome to the mechanical engineer. In this video, we are going to see how to conduct the analysis of epicyclic gear train using tabular method. So I have considered an example problem. So this is the problem. In an epicyclic gear train, an arm carries two gears A and B. So you can see the image, the arm C carries two gears A and B having 36 and 40 feet teeth respectively. So I am starting with the given data the number of teeth in gear a is 36 and the number of teeth in gear b is 45 if the arm rotates at 150 rpm so the arm rotates so nc is equal to 150 rpm in the anti-clockwise direction about the center of the gear a which is fixed so the gear a is fixed n a is equal to zero so here t is number of teeth and n is the speed determine the speed of the gear b so what is the speed of gear b so this is the first part of the question the second part is if the gear a instead of being fixed makes 300 rpm in the clockwise direction so if n a is equal to 300 rpm now what will be the speed of gear b n b so we have two cases in the first case na is equal to zero and in the second case na is equal to 300 rpm now let us go into the tabular method so this is a tabulation this is common for all so the first column is motion and in the left side we have various motions and in the right side i am going to fill the details so initially here i am going to start with uh, the components of the gear train so i am starting with the arm so first i am considering arm that is n c then i am going to consider the gear a so it is speed of gear a next i am moving into gear b gear b so it is n b okay so in the first motion i am going to consider the arm as fixed as i have considered gear a as the second component i am going to assume that the gear a rotates through plus 1 rpm so here i am considering the anti clockwise as positive so this is rotating in the counter clockwise direction so this is an assumption i am going to assume that the arm is fixed that is the first component and the second component is gear a that is rotates through plus 1 rpm in the counter clockwise direction so the speed of the arm is zero and speed of gear a is plus 1 now i am going to find out the speed of the gear b okay. so now we have to refer the speed ratios the gear b is in mesh with the gear a so to find out the speed of gear b i am going to write the velocity ratio that is nb by na because these two gears are in mesh we know that nb by na is equal to ta divided by tb so always remember that the speed is inversely proportional to the number of teeth so nb by na is equal to na by nb so in the problem i have considered na as 1 so i can substitute na value as 1 so i'll get nb is equal to i can bring the na to the right side so as it is 1 it is ta divided by tp so i'm going to write it here so nb is equal to ta divided by tb okay so this is the speed of gear B. Next, I am going to consider that the arm is fixed. Instead of 1 rpm, I am going to consider plus x. So, just multiply x with all the components. So, it is 0 into x is x. So, this is plus x. And here, x into ta divided by tb. One more thing is very important, the direction. So, in the first row, I have considered uh, the gear A rotates in the counterclockwise direction. That is why I have considered plus 1. If gear A rotates in the counterclockwise direction then definitely the gear b will rotate in the clockwise direction so if gear b rotates in the clockwise direction the direction is negative so you can consider any one direction here also it is negative next i am going to add y that is uh, the arm is rotating with an uh, speed of y so all the components will rotate with same speed so i am going to add plus y to all the components so this is same for all the problems so only thing is you should write the first row in the second row you should multiply x and in the third row you should add y so the total motion is summation of all the three so this is plus y 
and this is x plus y and here it is y minus x into t a divided by t b. So this is n c, this is n a and this is n b. So now I have uh, completed the table of data. Now we can go into the problem. So the, in the first case, if n a is equal to 0 and n c is 150 rpm, what is the speed of n b? So first one is if n a is equal to 0 and n c that is arm. So here also we should consider the direction. So in the problem it is given that the arm rotates with 150 rpm in the anti-clockwise direction. So as I have considered anti-clockwise in the positive direction, I am considering n c as positive. Okay, fine. So n c is equal to plus 150 rpm. What is the speed of gear B? So this is the one I am going to find out. Okay. So now let me substitute the N A first. So in the problem we have, I mean in the table we have N A is equal to X plus Y. So you can see it here. So that is equal to 0. So it is given in the problem. So X plus Y is equal to 0. Then N C is 150 RPM. So N C, this N C is equal to y that is equal to 150 rpm so if y is equal to 150 rpm then i can substitute this in the first equation so x plus 150 is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 150 rpm so in all the problems before finding the speed of the other gear you should calculate the values of uh, the constants x and y so now i have found out the values of x and y now let me calculate uh, the speed of gear B that is NB is equal to Y minus X into TA by TB. So this is we have find out using the table Y minus X into TA divided by TB. So now let me substitute the values. So Y is given us, I mean Y we have calculated as 150 RPM minus X is minus 150 then the TA value, so TA is 36 and TB is 45. So here it is 36 divided by 45. Okay, so if we solve this equation, then we will find out, we can find out the values. So the solution is 270 RPM and the direction is positive, which means that it is rotating in the anti-clockwise. So this is the first case. So we have constructed the table and we have substituted the given values in the total motion and we have find out the unknown value. Now the second one, so this one, NA is equal to 300 RPM. So here also we should focus on the direction. The NA is rotating with 300 RPM in the clockwise direction. So the direction is negative. Okay. So second one is if n a is equal to minus 300 rpm and the n c that is arm is same so n is equal to i mean n c is equal to 150 rpm what is the value of n b so this is the second part of the problem so now let me substitute this so the n c is equal to yeah it is y you can see that in the table n c is equal to y that is equal to 150 rpm next na na is minus 300 that is uh, x plus y from the table so na is equal to x plus y that is equal to minus 300 rpm so i can substitute the y value here so x plus 150 is equal to minus 300 so i'll get x is equal to minus 450 rpm okay so now i have found out the values of y and x now let me calculate the value of nb so go to the table so nb is equal to y minus x into ta by tb so y minus x into ta divided by tb 
So we can substitute the values. So here y is 150 minus x is minus 450 rpm and ta is 36 and tb is 45. So if we solve this then we can get plus 510 rpm. So the direction is positive which means that it is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is the solution. So remember that the table is very important. So while starting the problem, you can start with the given data. You can construct this table. So first start with the arm. Then the second component always try to move from the center of rotation. So here I have considered the center of rotation as NA. So it is NB. And I am considering the arm is rotating in the plus one direction. I mean arm is fixed and the gear A is rotating in the counterclockwise direction with one. So if you write, if you can write the first row of the table, then the remaining things will be easy. Then the total motion is the last row. Then from the given data, you can take the speed of uh, the arm and uh, the gear C. Then you can find out the speed of the unknown gear that is B. Thank you.